How's it going, my fellow comedians? My name is Bud, and welcome back to Comedy Central, and welcome to The Crooked Man. Now, I've been putting off this game for a while. I actually wanted to play it, but I haven't had the time to. But we're going to go ahead and uh, begin. So, let's just go ahead and start. So, I, know, I think I know a bit of the story. This game this game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those who are poor, poor with horror should not play. The other takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises while playing this game. Uh-huh. Well, I'm good. I'm, I, I'm, I'm Bud. I, there's a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. Creepy nursery rhyme music in the background. He bought a crooked cat, which called a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Well, this isn't creepy at all. <sighs> Ooh, finally things look tidy in here. Uh, that, that should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. Three of us can go out drinking. Why? Well, yeah, I could be the third wheel. Marion, I'm looking. I look forward to it already. Oh uh, well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. So I gotta adjust my webcam just a little bit here. Right, perfect. Oh, uh, am I moving? Oh, I use the arrow keys. Hold on, I, I got, I gotta, I gotta. Uh... Oh, how do I save? I uh... oh, okay, okay. All right, I see you. Okay, go back. Oh no no no! I, I, okay, how do I get out of here? There. Okay, I right, use the arrow keys. I thought I used WASD. All right, so all right, I gotta get, I gotta get. This my mouse off the screen. I don't need it right now. Okay, so what exactly? Oh, it's cracking the wall. A phone. Lots of tissues. Digital and empty trash can. Bed. No, I can't go to bed right now. All right. Uh, what's that? Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. Let's get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Let's go. What? You hear someone? What? What's what did that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wants to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, he told me to look for this place, right? Yeah, he don't go complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Uh, that must be, that must be those two, uh, Paul and Rosa. I can't, but uh, the license can wait, I guess, but I get to bed. Oh, I have my little computer. An old computer. Not many clothes inside. All right, well, it's nine o'clock. I mean, I'll go to bed already. Hello, are you the phone guy from Fun Nights at Freddy's? Hello, who is this? Shirley? Okay then. I'll, I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Yeah, let's go to bed. Man, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. Moving all this stuff into here was definitely tiring. Hello? Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Yo, I sleep in my clothes? Why am I sleeping in my clothes? Uh... I can get some response. I can get some response. 
knocking gets no response. Two oh one. Woman's voice. Yes, who is it at this hour? David. Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Are you trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Er, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? No. Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Can we go down this way? Nothing to do on the first floor. Uh huh. Oh, I can't even t look at the potted plant. Why can't I do that? Okay. Uh, 205. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Huh? Under the bed? What? Under the bed? Is Paul trying to pray me? Talk about bad taste. Or is it somebody else? Let's go find out. Under the bed. It. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Found something. What is it? Got a scrap from a notebook. So I gotta pull up my recording. I gotta you know how long I've been recording here. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Well, whatever. I'll get to bed. And that does it for the first night. Again? That's the that, that sound still. Where, where where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Oh, it's morning now. Ah, ma'am. Hello? Oh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her, tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in till, till noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Man, it's at noon?! That's, that's longer than I sleep. I, I usually sleep till like, 10.30 or something. Oh, hey. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you print something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Now we're in the hospital. No. I need to go in here. Who is that? Mom. Oh, it's his mother. It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, he was certainly grown. Uh oh. Yeah. Good. You look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. You like convince you sometime? You like apple pie, don't you? I make the best I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, who would you be? Why why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? M m Get out! Oh, I'll have you thrown out! Somebody, somebody, there's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover! Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! 
Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave! Miss Hoover, please... Oh! Ugh. Oh, man. Wait, did, can, I, can I go back in? Can't go back in. Oh, well, that sucks. Hey, sup? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she does, still doesn't know me. Yes, yeah, she's forgotten a few. She's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may she may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Well, all right. We're well, we're back in our apartment. <sighs> all right. Let's go back. Uh, no, I didn't want to read the sign. Okay. Hello. Who moved the chair? Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Is somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must have been this must this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? I I guess. Anything in the sink again? And then in the oh, I forgot we're in the bathroom. Don't want to go. Well, well, why? It's a washing machine. Okay. Again? Come on, phone guy. I'm tired of hearing you, man. David, hello. Oh, it's Marion. Hey, David. How are you doing? Haha, uh -huh, You saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call me if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way. I, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really... Uh, are you sure that was Shirley? That was phone guy. And don't call me Shirley. Uh, I, I, sure, no, no, I, I messed up the joke. The joke was, um, Shirley, it must have been phone guy. Uh, I, I'm... I, I, forget it, forget it. It's from Airplane. If you guys got that reference, then good. I'm sorry I told you her number. She, told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. Oh, uh, we're going to sleep. We're going. Oh, we're we going to sleep again. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Man, this apartment is boring. I mean, all I have is an old TV and a phone and an old computer. I mean, come on. You should. You should. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? No, because there's a ghost in here, dude! God, sink! What's in the sink? <coughs> did it say sink? Well, the sink is a poor- Oh, God, what's in the sink? What? What? Wait, in here? It said sink! Oh, th this sink. Oh, okay, I thought it meant the bathroom. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man. Oh, this is the rhyme for the beginning. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile, and a crooked sixpence called a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which called a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Yep. Is this some other goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. Quit assuming that, man. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Well, yeah, going to sleep in a creepy apartment that weird things are happening is a great idea. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Yeah, let's just go to sleep and forget about all the creepy stuff that's happened. Oh, no, again? Is that a kid out here? What kid would live up in these beat-up apartments? Hey, maybe they're lost. I should go check. No, don't check! That's not a good idea!
course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. <sighs> what? Is it in the bathroom again? Oh god, what's in here? Oh. Just broke a cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee says, you gotta be... Oh, the crap. This room is really, really strange. With voices, the TV is turning on. What is this? It's called the haunted room. How would you understood that? Creepy things happen. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Yeah, uh, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is that okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure, later. Well, that's it? The landlady is on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Yes, because the landlady would know everything about a, 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 a haunted apartment. Yeah. Another crack in the wall. Uh, guess. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was about a man your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just le really just up and left out of the blue. Oh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through the, my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. No, you were fine. Don't worry, ma'am. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh, well, I'll get back to my room. And is something bad going to happen when I get back to my room? I think so. Yep, something's happening. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Well, the guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha, ah, it's like a poltergeist or something. It's Peeves from Harry Potter. Jeez, you're, come on, Peeves, leave me alone. Go back to Hogwarts, David. Uh, but I would, uh, I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Hmm, not that much I'd care if there were ghosts here. No, not that I care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me or killed me. Dude, this guy doesn't give two shits. This guy is like awesome. But I wonder. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. But uh, what, what was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? I'm much used thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Well, something bad's gonna happen again. Okay, we gotta go to bed. Oh god, what's that? Where's that? What is. What? It sounded like a radio. Is it the. Radio? What's this? What? There's something on this paper here. It's an address? A special place. Where's that supposed to be? Okay. Oh, God. What's going to happen? Oh! I'm waiting for you! I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... How? And when did it... Um... Yeah, dude, I tipped the fuck out of there too, man. I tipped the fuck out the door. Seeing that, I would, I, I'd say, screw this place. I'm out of here. Never coming back. 
So, you slept, you sleep well last night? Sorry, I had to sleep on the couch. <laughs> he went over to Paul's house. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ah, I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or... Okay, I'm back. Uh, oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I just felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Ooh. Hey, why you... Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. Hey, I'm glad to have a, uh, I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me. Oh, yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about that Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Uh, but don't let it get you down, all right? I, I know you've got, a, you got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if, I, as if a guy like me can find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the, uh, and the girl that I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Eh, well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. So I don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I was when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. Oh, I bet the place I'm going is so sunshiny, happy, and full of rainbows and gumdrops. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, you'll be eating too. Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. There. Looks like the address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Man, it's a while. Did the former tenant go here? I'll, I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Yep, let's get out of here, man. Get out. Prologue. David's room. End. Well, he finished the prologue. Yippee. Oh, he can save. Uh... I want to say one more time when I, when I get in control again because, you know. Yeah, I knew this place would be so happy and fun. Gee, it's gotten dark, but this, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Who would be here? Just have to check. Okay, so I'm going to save one more time. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Crooked Man. If you liked it, smash that like button and leave a dent. And I'll see you guys uh, next time. Um, stay funny, my friends. I I'm going to stick with that. Stay funny, my friends. Peace out. Bye!